think that oftentimes when people hear computer science, they think that it's just programming or it's just coding. Computer science is a lot more than that. It's in everything that we do. We define computer science as the study of how we use technology to solve human problems. It's patterns. It's matching. It's something that is creative. It's problem solving. It's a, a basic and foundational literacy. If we do not invest in ensuring that computer science becomes a critical component undergirding all of education, we are not going to be able to progress and solution for issues in our society. So, Code VA is where we need to start. Computer science has an enormous equity issue. It tends to be students that traditionally have had access or white and Asian males. If you have one small group of the population that has that magic ability to create solutions, they also have a power to decide what problems are worth solution and what is not worth solution. The entire mission of Code VA is to try to provide that equitable access for computer science literacy for all students in Virginia, K through 12. If we are not allowing for the most expansive opportunity of ideas to exist, then we are already discounting and excluding generations to come. And this is why we need to invest in it and invest in our kids being owners of this, not just users of it. And in order to do that, it takes everyone chipping in. And really, we look at it from a couple different lenses, which brings out our four different arms. So the first is educator engagement, and that is professional learning for teachers. We teach them the foundations of computer science, and most importantly, how to teach it in their classrooms and it's led by other working teachers. The curriculum that I used initially was the Exploring Computer Science curriculum, which is a completely free packet and it goes day by day, but it leaves enough room for you to customize it to yourself. Once you've been a part of any of our trainings, you're now a part of the Code VA community. You now have other teachers around the state who are also interested in this idea and who can support you through their best practices or their implementations. And then we also have the student programs. Specifically what we do with Eureka is a lot of arts integrated computer science. We have summer camps, workshops, in school enrichment. They're really fun, they're really accessible. They're either free or very low cost. Our goal is to get kids introduced to computer science and excited about computer science. Research is our newest part of our organization. We're really trying to deepen our evaluation of our programs to understand what the impact is and where there are opportunities to improve and grow. The research drives the advocacy. Advocacy is talking to people and generating statewide and community support. We're an ecosystem building organization because this is a new subject in public schools. It's a new core subject. The generational impact of computer science education is huge. Virginia actually has the highest concentration of computer science jobs in the country. And we're number four for total number of computer science jobs. We're not the biggest state. <laughs> so that should say something, I think, about how pervasive this is in our economy. Computer science really, it, it's been a gateway for many people to create opportunities for themselves. Computer science is active in agriculture, advanced manufacturing, logistics, all of these other jobs. Virtually any different pathway in career and we all have to be able to integrate computer science into all of the classrooms for all students to have that access and it's not just if they do an after-school program or if they have that special club or the gifted students. Every single student would have that opportunity to learn about computer science and then eventually get those computer science jobs. <laughs>